These days we've got so many different high-tech solutions to help cars see better and further. We've got ultrasonic, we've got radar, we've got thermal. Heck, these days we've even got LiDAR. And yet, despite all of that, we've still got these things to help us block out the sun. After 95 years, we're still using a board. The folks at Bosch, well, they think they've got a better solution. So let's head inside and check it out. The idea behind the virtual visor is that it only blocks the sun, not the other 90% of your view. It starts with a transparent LCD visor linked to a driver-facing camera that tracks shadows. Now, since we're not actually in a working vehicle, we're in a lab, and since we're in Michigan where there actually isn't a whole lot of sun during this time of year, we're going to use a flashlight to simulate the sun. It's pretty ingenious. Check this out. The camera uses AI to not only find the driver in its field of view, the system can tell where the driver's eyes, nose, and mouth are so that it can track the sun's path across their face and then selectively darken just the part of the visor that's got glare. Apparently, the engineer who conceived of this was thinking about buying a new TV set while he was driving, and after he encountered some glare, he got to thinking about how LCDs work by blocking light. He then wondered if that same tech could be used to tackle glare. That's right, when you and I think about buying a new TV, we daydream about how good Netflix is going to look on it. Engineers, they're looking through the TV into the future. That's why they do what they do, and I, well, I spend my paychecks to buy what they do. Bosch says that this technology is a few years out from being in dealerships, so you won't have to do this a whole lot longer, and you can throw this in the trash. <laughs> 